yeah, it's yeah. heavenly names yeah, yeah. that we're telling you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's given to men on earth, like Moses, the apostles. This is how you cast out demons. So starting with the Most High, Grandma Kamar, that is indeed his name. <laughs> All right? The Holy Spirit, his name is Barbara. <laughs> the name of our Lord, Abarmento. <laughs> okay. That <laughs> hey man, I want to give all praises to the God of heaven and earth, Yahweh. Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Akakodash, just the Heavenly Father's true name in the Paleo Hebrew, in the name of His only begotten Son, His true name in the Paleo Hebrew as well, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the Paleo Hebrew. We believe by faith this is the true, holy, powerful names of the Most High, His Son, and the Holy Spirit. Double belongs to the apostles and elders of GMS. Peace and mercy and grace to the household of faith, the elect, Shalom. These are two men that were once a part of uh, Great Millstone that are now teaching. You know, they're still teaching and they're teaching uh, doctrines that's not in alignment with what they've been taught. And now, you know, one thing they're teaching now is that they've been revealed the true names of the Heavenly Father, His Son, the Holy Spirit, and even Satan in the true language um, uh, as opposed to the... Well, not opposed, but as because um, I, I listened to this video from the beginning. And he they opened up by giving praises to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shabbat Hashem, Kakodash. But they're saying that those names are just the the earthly names. Like basically, that's what you say on earth. But I, I'm I'm thinking he's saying that these are the names that they're called in the spirit world or whatnot. And um, long story short, beware of this. All right, beware of this because. These guys are false prophets. They don't even prophesy Babylon. Well, I don't know. I, I ain't going to say what they don't do. From what I've listened to, I don't hear them prophesying of the destruction of Babylon, warning of the mark of the beast, warning of the hour of temptation. I don't, I don't really hear them going into the things that Israel need to be prepared for. You know, talking about the WEF, talking about the prophecies, I pretty much... When I last I heard of them, they were pretty much just going at Great Millstone every video, talking about the new covenant. That's it. Not really warning. And that's what uh, the Lord warned about. Matthew 7 to 15, beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. All right. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, because they out there in the garments. Um, you know, they out there in the garments. They, they, they calling on the names. All right, but inwardly, all right, we'll, 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 you'll know a fruit by what? Uh, matter of fact, the next verse, ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And when you look at the fruits of these men, you know, you look on the comment board. Uh, I don't know if it was this one, but you had one of the guys that followed them, Darashia, who also was once a part of Great Millstone, who's not... Um, this is his page, but this isn't, yep, yeah, right here. So this guy, Darashia, who's already been uh, been pretty much solidified as a false prophet, he, he a few months ago in July, he said in 40 days, Elder Apostle the Hall was going to die. And he said that if it didn't come to pass, he was a false prophet. I think he even said he wouldn't teach no more. And this man is still, still on this nonsense, still talking, running his mouth, all right, ain't repentant. All right, more than likely, I don't know, but... You know, still out here talking shit. And his mouth need to be stopped. But these are the names they say uh, are the heavenly names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit. We don't denounce the earthly names. But accepting the heavenly name is that path to salvation. So you goddamn right, I'm finna be calling on the heavenly names. The earthly names aren't evil, though. All right. And you just be aware of this. All right. Because let's say even if this was the truth. We don't need this. All right. This ain't what the Lord gave us to, to call upon. Look at what the fruit of going back to the precept we just brought out. Look at what the fruit of the name Jehovah Bashem Yahweh Shah been, been doing. That's been bringing together a whole hell of a lot of change in the earth. A whole hell of a lot of prophecies coming. A whole lot of people being converted, being healed. OK, because I don't know about those names converting and healing people. So stay away from those names. All right, the name Jehovah Shimei Hashem, that's what's that's what's that's what got that's what got Jake repenting. That's what got Jake coming together in brotherly love and unison. All right, that's what got the prophecies going, you know, going across the four winds of the earth, and that's what got 
everything coming to a to an end. We see the world coming to an end based on those names going out. So stick with those names. Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. All right, we see the end coming based on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah being sealed in people's heads. Not those other names. All right, and these guys are just, they, they, the, you can tell the spirit ain't working. The spirit left these guys a long time ago. These guys ain't it. So don't listen to these guys. Don't, don't listen to these names. All right, we're going to stick with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. We're going to stick with what works. The elders, apostles ain't, 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 talk, ain't taught us those names. They ain't teaching those names. All right, don't follow these guys. Don't listen to, to these names that they talking about. All right, we're going to hear it one more time and avoid this shit. Matter of fact, and let's get Mark 16. Even though these guys already done been marked, but we're just going to go ahead and bring it out anyway. Romans 16, 17. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. Okay? Avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. All right? And that's what they do. Deceive the hearts of the simple because guess what? If this doctrine starts to catch catch fire, guess what? These two are gonna be these are gonna be the men. These are gonna be the leaders. They're gonna be the heads because they they the ones who revealed it, right? This is just them coming out of their own belly, man. These are nobodies. We all nobodies, but the spirit ain't working with these nobodies. All right. And I take that back. We so, the elect of somebody. I take that back. Through the spirit of power, Yahweh Shem Yah the elect are somebody. But I don't believe these men to be a deal. I believe these are just false prophets that are set up to, to uh, deceive the simple. All right. So let's listen to this madness again. All right. And that's it. That is his name. So starting with the Most High, Grand Makamar, that is indeed his name. All right. The whole. Again, I'm sorry, but these niggas ain't prophesying. Or if they are, they, they, they false prophesy. They ain't prophesying of the doom and gloom of Babylon, all right, the, the, the bad times to come, the evils, the famines. I'm talking about, I, and I was listening to these guys for a little bit just to see what they talking about. All right, this was months ago, but I was checking these guys out, and I don't hear them talking about none of the prophets. All I heard them talking about was Great Millstone and the New Covenant. We in the New Covenant. We in the New Covenant. This the New Covenant. That's it. I don't, those elder name, uh, Great Millstone and the New Covenant, that's it. That, that's all I, uh, the, the gospel I hear from these guys, which ain't the gospel. All right, let's get uh, Galatians. Galatians 1 and 6. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Hamashiach unto another gospel, which is not another. But there be some things, there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Yahweh Shai. But, thought, but though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. All right, that gospel that they, these guys are teaching, that's not what they were taught. It says, as we said before, so now I say again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. And then on the comment board, you got another guy who was a part of, who was once a part of um, the Great Millstone Atlanta slash Columbus camp. He's on here as well. Um, where that comment at? That's him, right? Child of Light. All right. And the, and the guy asked him, he said, well, if if you calling on those names too, he said, well, why, why you where, where are your lessons for edification? And he responded pretty much by quoting Hebrews 5 and 12, he said pretty much he's relearning. So once he relearns this new God, this new doctrine, he's going to start back teaching again, <laughs> right? So basically he's going to be teaching a gospel in which he didn't know, all right? The, the gospel, which is what we teach, he's been teaching for however many years he was teaching it until he left Great Millstone. He's relearning this and he's going to teach this. And one of the things the bishop, um, I told you I'm here in Atlanta, made a good point at the camp on Saturday, he said, if the gospel that these guys is teaching, if this is the, the, the true gospel, if what they teaching is the truth, then that means it's going to take another 10, 20 years, however long it take, you know, because it took a long time for the gospel to be be ready and presented to where, you know, from 2007 on up when everybody started coming in up until now for it to get this point. So if, if these new gospels that these guys are coming with are the truth, how much more longer 
Like it's going to take for the elect to get this gospel as opposed to what's been taught. It don't even make sense. It makes sense that the truth would have already been out. And now and people are getting rooted and sealed based upon the gospel that's been out, which I believe what we teach, what we have, beginning with the leadership of the apostles of Great Millstone on down is the true gospel. This is what roots houses. This this teaching that we've gotten from the apostles, man, this this roots, man. And I'm 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 a living testimony. This thing will root you, man. I don't, this stuff that they, these guys are teaching, this shit ain't rooted, but it's sent to sift and get people out. All right. So Salaki, let's go ahead and play this shit again, cause uh, like I said, many many, cause he talking about these talking about casting demons out in these names. He literally say that, which that's in the scriptures, Matthew seven, seven and twenty one. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter. Oh, man, I got to play this clip. Yeah, let's play it. I'm going to go ahead and bring the precept out. All right, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name do done many works, wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So let's listen to what they say. The name of our Lord. A barmento. Lord gonna say, depart from me, man. I never knew you. He gonna say, you called me a barmento. Fuck out of here. All right? Giving all praise to you. How about shit, man? I'll shout prayer. Was that a fine? Shalom.